the center of the universe, an elusive city floating in the sky, where peace exists, hopes are met, and dreams come true. And we've got to get to it, Captain, before Dr. Aegon does. Thank you, Isambard. We've got to get to it before Dr. Aegon... Destroys it the way he destroys everything else. Lavender Castle is a great source of power in the universe. Destroy it, and the universe will be plunged into darkness forever. How do you know all this, Captain? We've been to Lavender Castle, haven't we, Captain? A long time ago. Now Dr. Aegon wants to destroy it. But we're no match for him. His firepower's much greater than ours. We will derive strength from Lavender Castle. Aye, and we'll be more canny. But, Captain... We'll be needing a full crew. And I think I know where to find one. Pirates used to attack other ships. Now they're attacking space freighters. If my cannons hadn't jammed... I'd have been continuing my medical research. I'm sorry, Laika. So squeak a lot, isn't it? Can't we have some light down here? I'm not supposed to do this, sir. You a prisoner too? I was ship's robot on the QZ-3. Before it was sunk. So squeak a lot. Bit of a mouthful, isn't it? How about squeaky? I'm very conscious of my squeaking joints, sir. Oh, egg. Scuttle me bones. What's going on here? Oh, um, just checking the cargo, sir. Oh. <laughs> That's better. You'll be glad of some company when you find out who's coming for you. <laughs> Still thinking of our trip round the universe, are we? What did we hope to find? Treasure? <laughs> You're my treasure now. <laughs> We've got to get out of here. We're a billion light years from anywhere, Smart Eyes. Who could possibly save us now? Don't give up. There's always hope. Number three. It's Dr. Egon. What do we see? Oh, we see... Nothing. Isambard. Full power. Aye, aye, Captain. Mr. Rogers, sir, Dr. Aegon's coming. You're to be sold as slaves. Aegon? Slaves? No time to explain. Oh, but... Hold still, madam. <laughs> now you, sir. Are you scurvy <gasps> ship's cattle? I'll make you squeak a lot. Aegon. <gasps> Here you are, Dr. Aegon, sir. <laughs> Just like what I promised. Slave trade. A bit slow, is it? Uh, and I'll, I'll throw in this robot, too. An RM96, and it's brand new. Oh, well, that's my arm. Nearly new. Useless. Yes. You live to regret this. There was always hope. Not him again. <laughs> nice entrance. What was that you said about hope, smart eyes? Boy, you can't just land on my deck like that. Who are you, anyway? My name is Captain Thrice. This is my engineer, Isambard. And this is my walking stick. You come near my ship again and I'll... Oh. You'll what? 
Mr. Mr. Machine, unchain the prisoners. Oh, he called me Mr. Thanks, Squeaky. Ah, that's better. You can't. <sighs> You're not going to let him get away with this, are you? Get away with what? Greetings, old friend. Old friend? <laughs> oh, you don't know me. <laughs> You've got it wrong. Oh. Ah, I'm off. <laughs> met before, though my memory's not what it used to be. Try that again, and the captain will be right behind you, seeing through your pathetic disguises. Thank you, Isambard. I think I could have said that for myself. Oh, hi, Captain. Of course you could. Now's your chance! Quickly! Come back later. Captain Thrice! Here! Enough. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my... my trumpet! <laughs> Thank you. Into the paradox, quickly. The paradox? The spaceship! That's a spaceship. Uh, right. Where do they go? We can't go without Squeaky. Hurry! My arm's killing me. Stop them! Come on! Please! Don't be leaving Sproggle behind! Sproggle's one of us. Let him in. Oop! Oh, oh. Thanking you and thanking you, sir. You've got away with it this time, Thrice! But I'll still beat you to Lavender Castle. And then the whole universe will be mine. Mine! So, friends, welcome to the Paradox and our quest to find Lavender Castle and protect it from Dr. Aegon. Are you with me? Uh, I don't worry. think so. Now, let's see what we have. Isambard is, as you know, our engineer. Aye, aye, sir. Laika, now, your medical research has been interrupted, so... I'll continue my research, Captain, but I'll also be your doctor. Um, good. Roger was a starfighter pilot, and with a little um, <clears throat> expert tuition, he might be able to help me fly the paradox. He already is. <laughs> what? All systems go! Hmm, so it seems. Uh, uh, sir Squeakalot, will you take charge of the galley? Certainly, sir. One lump or two. Oh, one. Uh, Sproggle, perhaps you can navigate. Oh, warm, pleasurable. Feelings. Oh, wrong way. Hmm. Well, I seem to have found a crew of sorts. Full steam ahead, then, for Lavender Castle. Full power, Captain. <laughs> so mine, Captain. To Lavender Castle. Ah, uh, which way is that, then? Lavender Castle, a place of legend, fabled right across the universe. This is our quest to find.
find it. Distress call, Captain. It's the intergalactic distress call. Action stations, everybody. Oh, um, turn right. Uh, somewhere between a little and a lot. What? Towards that distant planet. It's called the Dragon's Planet. Oh, Sprockle don't want to go. Someone down there is in trouble. We've got to go. Starting descent, Captain. What are they, Captain? Them dragons, them are! Calm down, Sproggle. They're not dragons, they're plants. Giant plants. Of course. Sproggle, where's the signal coming from now? Between a bit to the right and a little bit more to the right. He's trying his best. I know, that's what worries me. Oh, oh, turn a lot to the right. A huge lot to the right. Ripper. Uh, Captain. Keep going. I've never seen anything like it. A house inside a plant. Let's go and have a look, shall we? Look! <laughs> You've come at last. We picked up your distress call. How long have you been like this? I don't know, my dear. When you're on your own, time plays all sorts of tricks. Well, you're not on your own anymore. Roger, draw the curtains. Squeak a lot! Wake up! I'm not asleep. I'm charging my batteries. Sproggle don't like this place. And there are dragons out there. How is she? She's very sick, but her heart is strong. Almost like a man's. Captain. Mm. Yes, my dear? You've been so kind. And yet, you've come too late. Please bring in your crew mm. so that I can... Thank them. It would make me very happy. Hmm. Here they are, my dear. You wanted to thank them. You have a fine crew, Captain. Strong and healthy. You will all make perfect slaves. <laughs> <laughs> Sproggle, my lad. There's no escaping this time. And as for you, Mr. Big Shot Captain Thrice, I've waited a long time for this. What's happening? The pod is closing. That's what. Soon there'll be no light, and you and your paradox will be trapped. Trapped! <laughs> it won't open again until sunrise. I've got you thrice. You're forgetting something, Egon. If we are trapped in here, then so are you. <laughs> forgetting something? I think not. <laughs> hey! 
Interesting piece of equipment. Never mind that. How do we get out of here? Oh, it's all right. If Dr. Ha 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 Aegon can find a way out, I can too. Oh, no, you won't. There's only one way out, and you'll never find it. I'll find it. There must be an external exit mechanism. So squeak a lot. The door. Certainly, sir. I will. And then there's the subtle approach. Come on, everyone. Coming, Master. Is the dock station on its way? It is! It is! Let me sum up the situation. We are trapped inside this flower pod. There is no way out until it opens tomorrow morning. By which time the dock station will be here and we will be Aegon's slaves. Yes, that about sums it up. Any suggestions? Uh, ah, achoo! Bless you. Yes, bless you. I have an idea, Captain. It's pretty wild, but it's worth a try. And exactly what is it, Lyca? For your ears only, then. <laughs> well, I suppose anything's worth a try. Number three? Of course. Dragon's planet. Dr. Aegon's planet. Oh. Oh, it's no use. I can't remember the final ingredient. Lavender Castle. Shh, shh, shh. Quiet. Of course. Now I remember. Squeaky, fetch me that bottle over there, quickly. Uh, yes, Miss Lyca. The dock station is here. Tell it to dock and be ready to assist our prisoners on board when the pod opens. Yes! 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 Quickly now. It's up to you, Lyca. You'd better hang on to something. Oh, uh. Hold tight, everyone! Oh. <laughs> Fantastic! What did you make, Lyca? Explosives? Sort of. It was sneezing powder, actually. Oh, sneezing powder! Now, why didn't he think of that? Well, in a strange way, Isambard, you did. I did? I wonder what happened to Aegon. He must have been blown right off the top. Dock Station, this is Dr. Aegon. I'm coming aboard! Lavender Castle, a place of legend, fabled right across the universe. This is our quest, to find it.
Great Red Mist. We used to get it all the time where I come from. No, I'm telling you, we're in the atmosphere of the planet we were approaching. Whatever it is, Captain, I don't like it. Hmm, I don't like it either. The only way to find out is to go down and take a look. Listen, smart eyes. Instead of going down, why don't you try going up? Look, I know what I'm doing. Uh, Captain Thrice, sir, I'm I'm being got at. Hang on, the autopilot's gone by me. Now what are you doing? You'll kill us all. I'm not doing anything. We're out of control. Someone took control of us. But who? And why? <laughs> this place gives me the creeps. Let's get out of here. Ah, uh, come on, Laika. Where's your sense of adventure? Hey. I think we should explore it. And so do I. If we're going to find Lavender Castle, we've got to be prepared to go out exploring. Out there? I tell you, this place is dangerous. Dangerous? In that case, you'll need me. Not now, Squeaky. Can't you see we're busy? Oh. Yes, sir. You've hurt his feelings. Oh, he's only a robot man. He hasn't got feelings. <clears throat> now, there has to be a door around here somewhere. I don't like this place. It smells funny. We came here to explore, and explore is what we'll do. Phew. There's no way up as far as I can see. You've done it again. Oh, will you be quiet? Uh, I've just about had enough of your... What's happening? We're in some sort of lift. Fascinating. <laughs> At last, dear gentlemen, everything is ready for you. Follow me. Who are you, my man? And what is this place? It's not on any of our star charts. There are many things that aren't on star charts, as you shall see. Now, gentlemen, this way. Would you like popcorn? Or oh, we do have some exceptionally fine Chateau Lafitte cola. Vintage cola? This guy's a fruitcake. You can't enjoy the most fabulous object in the universe without oh. a glass of cola. The most fabulous object in the universe? In a dingy place like this? Hm. Roger, Miss Bart, come along. Where's the harm in it, Captain? Where's your sense of adventure? You have to admit, it sounds quite exciting. Oh, all right. Let's see it. <sighs> Most fabulous one. These chaps round the bend. That's what comes of living on your own. Ripper! I haven't seen this for years! No, oh, come on, it's time to leave. Ah, uh, leave us alone, will you? Roger. Be quiet, will you, Jimmy? Some of us are trying to watch. And before you go, fix us another drink. What is that stuff? <laughs> It's cooler, that's all. Then what's got into them? I don't know. But I don't like it. Come on, you two. We're going. Uh, the captain said it's time to go. Sit down, captain. Oh. There's no escape. Out of my way! I said, sit down! You... Oh. So, that's your game. You're a common jewel thief. Hardly common. You won't get away with this. But I already have. 
Those two are mesmerized, and you and your skinny friend are too weak to stop me. Let them go. Keep me instead. How noble. But no, I want to keep you all as souvenirs. What are you doing? I'm doing what I do best. I'm sorry, old girl. It seems our time's up. You've not been a bad old stick. You're not so bad yourself. Judge! Mm. Oh. Oh. To whom does this belong? It's mine. For gallantry above and beyond the call of duty. Awarded by the Solar Space Academy. I think not. Whoever you are, Tin Man, you will soon be under my control. I don't think so. You see, I don't watch television. No! Don't do that! Oh, oh no! It's going to explode! Hurry, everyone. Get to the lift. Oh! My jewels! My precious jewels! Yonder. My jewels! <laughs> They're gone! Oh, God! Don't you dare cry, Sproggle! Oh. Uh, could you uh, get me out of here? Captain, how did the ride? <laughs> oh, thank you, Sproggle. I was wondering where I'd left that. Thanks, Sproggle. And you, Lassie. You too, Squeaky. Uh, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. Oh, sir. <laughs> My pleasure, sir. I'm afraid dinner will be a little late mm. tonight. I uh, had to go to a jousting session. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Rogers, sir, I believe this belongs to you. Cheers, Squeaky. I've always been very proud of this, but now I'd like you to have it. I will treasure it, sir. <clears throat> uh, Squeaky, I'm sorry for what I said before. You're not just a robot. You're a... Well, you know what I mean anyway. Any idea what this is? I found it in the wreckage of the tower. Uh, it's some sort of compass with... A lavender-coloured arrow. Lavender castle! A pointer to the most fabulous object in the universe. We are going the right way. <gasps> the arrow's faded away! Don't worry! Sproggle remembers which way it was pointing. That way! Or was it that way? Um... Uh, oi! <laughs> Lavender Castle, a place of legend, fabled right across the universe. This is our quest, to find it.
20. Full power. Hold tight, everyone. We're losing him. <laughs> oh, no. He's come round the other way. Now's your chance. Missile! Is a mud. Maximum power. You've already got maximum power! It's no good. We're not going to make it. We'll see about that! <laughs> Oh, well done, Isambard. We're clear. Hey, now you know why you have an engineer. Oh. Oh. Ah! Oh. The automatic retros have fired. <coughs> A wee bit of superficial damage. Nothing to worry about, Captain. <gasps> A wee bit of superficial damage. Oh. It's broken! <sighs> Very observant, Mr. Sproggle. We've got to find Aegon. We're sitting ducks here. <laughs> Sproggle's frightened of the duck! <laughs> Sproggle, stop that wailing and find Aegon's location. Sproggle finds something. He couldn't even find his way his to... His position is... 052, Mark 483, Space Latitude 089. Brilliant! How did you work that out? I didn't. I can see him through the window. <laughs> Captain Thrice. Shortly, I will be using my vaporizing cannon once more. Last, and your next stop will be Oblivion. You like it there? You know we're defenseless. What are you waiting for? Well, I think your demise should be poetic. Your journey to Oblivion will commence when Draco's moon reaches its zenith. One hour from now, High Moon. Bye! can save us now. What about Lavender Castle, sir? Oh, yeah, we can call it up on the Galactinet. What's it under, Lavender or Castle? Lavender Castle does help sometimes, Roger. It's just that it's never to order and always in its own way. We know because we've been there, haven't we, Captain? Captain, is this true? Yes, it's true. Oh, please, Captain, tell us. Oh, Sproggle doesn't want to go to Oblivion, wherever it is. All right, Sproggle, but I don't know what good it'll do. I was travelling through space, searching for Lavender Castle. The problem was I had no idea where to look. It was a lonely life, but I whiled away the hours making myself a walking stick from a branch of the Laplon tree, which I'd picked up somewhere in the Delarian star system. Then one day, something very strange <coughs> happened. Autopilot, what's going on? What's out there? Autopilot, I said... What in space is it? I've got to get out of here. Ooh. Screen one, give me a damage report. And screen two, what was that light? Lavender Castle. Of course, what a fool I've been. You can say that again. <gasps> Who's that? It's me. Over here, you old dofo. Where you left me? I can't believe it. You, you were just a piece of wood. Well, well. At last I'll have someone to talk to. And when things get tough, I'll have someone to lean on. Someone to keep an eye on you, more like. 
So, you see, Lavender Castle gave me life. And you thought I was an ordinary... Full-blooded, argumentative walking stick. Mm. That experience made me realize how important Lavender Castle is to all of us, and why it must be protected from the likes of Dr. Aegon. If he gets his hands on it, the universe will become a dark, cold and lonely place. Captain, it's nearly high moon. going to oblivion then? Nothing's definite, Sprobble. Now, isolate the primary circuit. Is of course divert to trip line A, bang in support system beta. I know he looks a harmless old clot, but when there's a real crisis, Lavender Castle has given him powers he doesn't even understand himself. Uh oh I have a plan. What we need to do is to position giant mirrors there and there. Then we can deflect Dr. Aegon's vaporizing beam. But, Captain, we haven't got any mirrors. I know. That's the trouble with the plan. Aegon calling. Are you ready, Thrice? It's high moon. Time to meet your, um, baker. <laughs> Be brave, everyone. At last, you miserable crew of misfits. <laughs> it's going to miss us, isn't it? Afraid not, Lyca. It's dead on target. Dead? <sighs> it, it's coming back. If I'm going to die, so are you. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Listen, you. Where would you be without me? Down the train. And? <laughs> Stay there. <laughs> did you see that? Giant mirrors in the sky. Yes, I did. That's Lavender Castle for you. Never to order, and always in its own way. <coughs> Lady and gentlemen, may I present to you my totally rebuilt and reconditioned engine, and without the help of Lavender Castle. Hooray! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Not again. <coughs> oh, well. Back to the drawing board. Lavender Castle, a place of legend fabled right across the universe. This is our quest to find it.
shape. Strange. Nothing on the radar. Must be a stealth craft. They're invisible to radar. But what's it doing out here? It must be in trouble. Then what are we waiting for? It looks like a starfighter. It's the Firefly. My old starfighter. I was flying it when the pirates caught me. Well, she's not in too bad shape. I dare say I could patch her up. She might come in handy against Dr. Aegon. What do you say, Captain? You? Well, all right. Isambard, see what you can do. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now's my chance to catch them napping. Oh, all right, I'm aboard. Right, I'll just have a nosy around. Oh. Why can't Sproggle fly Starfighter? How would you like to sit in a starfighter, Sproggle? Oh, Sproggle can't fly starfighters. No, but you could sit in the cockpit and pretend. Oh. Hey, right. <coughs> hey, screw that. Yeah, and, ah, it won't be the fastest starfighter in the galaxy, but it'll fly all right. <laughs> well done, my little pet. Where would I be without you? Aren't you going to vaporize them? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> That's far too quick. Laser bolts will take longer. Don't be afraid, Sproggle. Just push off with your feet and you'll glide across. Gently now. <laughs> Don't tell me they're getting their orphan child to fly that. <laughs> Things are getting better by the minute. Number one. It's Aegon. Action stations, everyone. Sproggle? He's still in the Starfighter. And Aegon's seen him. Not yet, my fine featherless friend. Let us savor the moment. Oh no! Got to get out! Must get out! It's Sproggle. Sproggle, listen to me. Just do exactly what Roger tells you. Hmm. I think we've had enough savoring, don't you? Yes. <laughs> yes! Now disengage the electron power lock. That's the big white lever on your left. On your left, Sproggle! <laughs> now press the big red button to your right. Red! <laughs> big uh, red button! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! So, the little worm wants to play games, does he? Fine. Come in, 
Sproggle! It's no good. We've lost him. <laughs> A sitting duck. Did you learn to fly like that? Oh, I wasn't flying it. Uh, well, uh, it comes naturally. Ah, I see. Now, Sprogger must get back to work. Maps to read, routes to plot, directions. To... Oh, Sprogger can't be good at everything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Farewell, Firefly. I wonder if I'll ever see you again. Lavender Castle, the place of legend, fabled right across the universe. This is our quest to find it. Shelter on that planet ahead. Oh, it's 
beautiful. Wait a minute. Well, I'll be scuppered. <laughs> it's them there swabs from the paradox. Oh, what do you mean, shaped like a cross? This planet doesn't look like a cross to me, and I should know I'm the one in the pilot's seat, remember? Oh, you don't see, Roger. You never do. I never see? That's rich coming from you. And what if it is shaped like a cross anyway? Oh, spot mark an X. He means X marks the spot. You know, where treasure's hidden. At least it's always like that on the story drone. Cup of Galactian tea, Mr Sproggle. You know, according to my databank, this isn't the right sort of planet for treasure. Oh, it is a treasure spot. None of you's believe Sproggle, but Sproggle's going to find it. Careful, Sproggle. It's dark out there. Oh, you! Oh. <laughs> oh, it is a treasure spot. <laughs> we shouldn't have laughed at him. I'd better go and see he's all right. Oh, what? You don't think there's treasure out there too, do you? Land ahoy! Land Shut up, you! We don't want that scoundrel thrice knowing we're here. Cannons! Prepare for a broadside! <laughs> But down, everyone! Yeah. Oh no, the paradox! Captain Thrice! Oh, like her. They're gone. All gone. It must have been Dr. Aegon. I don't think so. This is old fashioned gunpowder. Gunpowder? Got it in one. It was short, Fred Red. Walking stick. Are you all right? Well, apart from being buried under 14 tons of rubble, I'm fine. What happened? The cutting snark blew us to pieces. Are they? They all survived. So where are they? Clapped in irons on the cutting snark. Oh. Lead came ashore for them. They didn't stand a chance. Come on, Sproggle. We've got to rescue them. Oh, Sproggle doesn't want to fly. Hang on. Whoa. Beside it, my old enemies. Oh, give me the chance. <laughs> I'll nail it all day. <laughs> Captain. 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 No, Laika, don't. Oh! It's some sort of force field lead set up. will explain. <gasps> Won't you, Sproggle? <laughs> it's... It's the... The Black Swat. The what? If the b -b Black Swat gets you, you, you're stuck until you rot. Or at least until its owner says so. <laughs> Come on, my little pet. Right, you scurvy lot. It's plank walking time. Now, who shall we start with? I know! My old matey Sproggle, eh? Of course, I could always agree to let him return to his duties in the crow's nest. Never! How did I know he'd say that? Now down the black, you scurvy worm! <laughs> Leave him alone, you coward! Take me! Sorry, Captain. Wouldn't want you to miss seeing your matey die. <laughs> Move along there, Sprout! 
<laughs> Another step and you'll never find the treasure. Struggle will take its secret to the grave. Treasure? What treasure? At the center of the planet is a cliff. And in the cliff is a cave. And in the cave is a treasure. <laughs> Is there really a treasure in this cave? Oh, there's treasure, all right. Now, you stay here and be good. Parrot will look after you. Ah! She may not look like much, but one false move and she'll peck your eyes out. Ah! Faces of treasure! Faces of treasure! Oh, poor old Spruggle. Then you didn't even find a treasure. Oh, Spruggle didn't, didn't he? Now, where is... Uh, oh, uh, uh, is this what you're looking for? <gasps> oh, the treasure! Small, perhaps, but at least it is a treasure. And what good's a treasure when you've lost your home and you're clapped in irons? <gasps> See? Real treasure. Yes. Real treasure. Lavender treasure. My little pet. Your little pet? Captain, who are you talking to? Oh, um, um nobody. Um, uh, um, come on now, quickly. Blow me, Sproggle was right after all. There is a cross, a skull and crossbones. Oh, but we haven't seen the last of Short Red Leg. <laughs> well, that may be so but it'll take him a long time to find us. A very long time. What? Lavender Castle, a place of legend, fabled right across the universe. This is our quest, to find it. Find the paradox. I searched everywhere. I couldn't find it. <laughs> well, if Mohammed won't go to the mountain, the mountain will have to come to Mohammed. Now, let me see uh, six packs of D rings, three multi valve pressure joints, uh, four packets of. Oh, good morning, Squire. 
How can I help? I'm looking for an MD-646 engine. Oh, now, you see, that will be difficult. Yeah, I know they're rare, but I'm offering a high price. Oh, yeah, and how high is... <clears throat> now, let me think. I do know of an old half-timbered spaceship that has one. Now, let me see what's it called. Uh, oh, oh, yes, the puzzle box. The paradox. Do you know where it is? I don't, but I'll call them up. I'm sure I can, uh persuade them to uh, part with their engine. Give them this message and they'll come running. <laughs> yes, yes, I see. Very well, I'll think about it. Goodbye. That was from the planet Thestal. Somebody down there claims to have information about Lavender Castle. Why'd they call us? Good question. Look, we're out of supplies. So why don't we go down there and kill two birds with one stone? What I don't understand is why you run the engine. You don't understand because you're an imbecile. Their engine is the bait in my trap. Oh, I wish you wouldn't do that. Oh, and... All right, there. Sproggle, we get the picture. Well, this is where we were supposed to meet him, but there's no sign of him. <gasps> Afternoon, <gasps> one and all. Duff's the name. Oh, rocket engines are my game. You have some information about Lavender Castle. Now then, I am looking for an MD-646 engine. You wouldn't happen to know how I could lay my hands on one, would you? <coughs> We have an MD-646. Well, I have a punter who could be persuaded to swap his information about Lavender Castle uh, for your engine. My engine is the finest in the universe, and no one's going to take it away from me! Well, I must say, it sounds like a very nice piece of metal. Do you think I could see it? Well, all right, but don't touch any of the brasswork. I've just polished it. It's gone! Oh, my engine's gone! How could it have gone? It weighs a ton! Well, no engine, no deal, mate. I'll be hopping off then. Great. No supplies, no logs, and now no engine. Could you have it loaded for me? No problem at all, Squire. Now I can see how you uh, acquired it. Thank you, and goodbye. <laughs> Excuse me, Governor, but uh, what about my money? Your reward comes from having had the honour of serving me. I'm Dr. Aegon, destroyer of planets and terror of the universe. If I am not paid, I shall take the goods back. You wouldn't dare. No, I wouldn't. Aegon calling. All right, Aegon. What do you want? Your position is hopeless, Thrice. Surrender the paradox. I've always fancied having a weekend cottage. Oh. If you don't surrender, I will destroy you. Do we surrender or fight on? On with you, Captain. And me. So am I. I shall be at your side, sir. Yes, yes. What was the question? Here's our answer, Aegon. We would rather die than surrender to you. All right, Thrice. Let's see how strong your nerve really is. Watch for a white flag. <laughs> that was close. Can you hear me, Thrice? Do you surrender now? Kill them! That, my bloodthirsty little friend, is exactly what I am about to do. I think the next one's got our name on it. Don't panic, Squaw. I'll teleport, see? Now, let's get out of here. And how do we do that without an engine? <clears throat> Master, 
Look! Oh, no! Come on, baby! Please! Stop for Daddy! Hurry, Isambard! <laughs> it's a leech boat. If it locks on, it'll stick like... like... Like a leech? Hold tight! It's locked on. They can't escape. I can't shake it! Aegon's finally got us. It's OK. We're safe now. Which is more than I can say for that bloke Aegon. <laughs> Give me back my machine! Give me back my machine! Hmm. No! Oh, no! Blast. So, uh... Where did you learn the hammer trick? Well, sometimes these old engines need a little gentle coaxing. I thought you were in the lounge. Twins! You see, he's them. And he's Duff. And when we're together, we're called Dim Duff. We're sorry we uh, borrowed your engine. We will make it up to you. Sir, the log store, it's suddenly full. <gasps> I see. Supplies! I think they're sorry for what they did, but after all, they are just common thieves. Captain, look! All the same, they were very nice thieves. Yes, very nice thieves. Lavender Castle, a place of legend, fabled right across the universe. This is our quest, to find it. I need to get the colour of your bowl bright. Can't you look a little happier? My, my, Mr. Sproggle, I must say you look quite handsome. <sighs> That's better. Uh, what's the time, Squeaky? At the third stroke, the time will be 14.35, precisely. Beep, beep, beep. 
What you're doing isn't bad. Routine maintenance? There's nothing routine about this. It's a time machine. A time machine? I didn't know we had a tea machine. Don't get too excited, Roger. We can't use it. Why not? Well, it's experimental. In the wrong hands, it could destroy the fabric of the entire universe. Give over? That little thing? If there were a chain reaction and over a period of time, yes. Anyway, it's something I don't want to risk. Well, you're the captain, Captain. When I was flying starfighters, we used to practice dodging in and out of asteroids, playing cat and mouse. It's surprising how well you can hide behind one of those things. What is it, Roger? I thought I saw something. It's Avon! Action stations! Roger. I'm trying, I'm trying. Now, my pet, you know what to do. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Almost like he wants us to see him. I <laughs> they fell for it. He did. <laughs> He's behind us. Like a quick, the captain. He's badly injured. Don't let him die, like a. Oh. Why didn't they hit me instead? I, I'm just a machine. Lyca? Lyca? It's no use. He's dead. <laughs> Got them at last. Isambard, I need maximum power! Maximum power? Coming right up! Are you all right? Oh, is he? There's only one way to get more speed now. Oh, look out, Mr. Sproggle! <laughs> oh, Sproggle! There's nothing more I can do. We've had it, like a... No, we haven't had it. How do you operate this thing? I'm not sure, and I can't raise his Oh, never mind. Captain Thrice said we weren't to touch it. Don't you understand? Captain isn't with us anymore. must say you look <sighs> quite handsome. That's better. Uh, what's the time, Squeaky? At the third stroke, the time will be 14.35, precisely. Beep, beep, beep. I'm sure I've painted this before. What you're doing isn't bad. Routine maintenance. There's nothing routine about this. It's a time machine. Of course. The time machine. Captain. You're alive. Uh, well, well, yes. Of course he's alive. If it wasn't, I would have noticed. The time machine, it saved you. All of us. Captain, don't you remember what happened? We were attacked by Dr. Aegon and you were killed. Hmm. Don't any of you remember? The attack. Captain Thrice dying. I used the time machine. We are back in time. Um, like her, you're not well. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? Oh! Roger, change course. You're staring us straight into the jaws of Dr. Aegon. 
They're bound to hide behind an asteroid. Yes. You distract their attention while I come up behind and grab them with my mandibles. You're what? My giant claws, idiot. Oh, yes. Yes, then we can go down to the planet and smash them on the rocks. Well, between us, I'm sure we can think up a suitable ending. Now get ready. We're approaching the, uh... <laughs> Rendezvous. Please, Captain! Laika, we are on our way to a planet which could lead us to Lavender Castle. We can't change course now. We may miss an opportunity of a lifetime. But, Captain! When I was flying starfighters, we used to practice dodging in and out of our... Stop it! That's what you said just before Dr. Aegon attacked us! They're coming! Captain Thrice! This clock stopped again! Ooh. Really? Sproggle, how many times have I told you not to turn the clock the wrong way? But, but, if you uh, want to correct it, you must only turn it forwards, not backwards. Backwards? What? What is it, Roger? I thought I saw something. Roger! Change course! Do as she says, Roger! Now! You got it! It's gone! You said it was there! It was! But it isn't! But it was! <laughs> it isn't! <laughs> we were literally snatched from the jaws of death, thanks to you, Laika. And Isambard, if we hadn't fixed the time machine... How come you knew we'd gone back in time, but we didn't? I can only say that my biological clock is different. Oh, I had a brilliant plan, and if it hadn't been for you, it would have worked brilliantly. We're going to... You are useless. Utterly useless. Can't you see? We're going to... Shut up! You'll curse the day you were hatched when I... Lavender Castle, a place of legend fabled right across the universe. This is our quest to find it. I will return your manuscripts forthwith. Instead of sucking, I simply have to blow. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, great. What in space is going? <laughs> so that. 
That's where they've been hiding. <laughs> oh. oh, my humblest apologies, Captain. Sometimes I don't know my own strength. Oh, yes. Apology accepted. But we were lying low, and now we'll have to move on. Aegon must have seen us. Go. Follow them, and this time, don't lose them. Of course, mister. Now, let me see. According to my calculations, she'll find the paradox here. So she'll have to pass through Spartan's void, and what's this? A black hole? And right in her path? Watch out, my little pet. There's a black hole right in front of you. Where? Anything could happen to her. <laughs> she might shrink to the size of an atom. <laughs> What's happening to me? What's going on? <laughs> on the other hand, <laughs> she could become gigantic. <laughs> I feel like a new bird. I'm ten times the bird I used to be. Ah, the paradox. <laughs> Geronimo! Um, uh, uh, Captain Thrice, not wishing to cause alarm, sir, but we're being attacked by a giant falcon. Oh, a giant falcon? I doubt that, Sir squeak a lot. <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> Who rattled his cage? <laughs> Got them. Thrice. You're down the drain, and you'll stay there! <laughs> What's going on? Where's the paradox? Can't you hear me? Where is the paradox? Let them escape, haven't you? Go back to the black hole. You might return to your normal size, if you're lucky. We're stuck in the mongrel's throat, like an enormous chicken bone. Oh, oh Sprogle don't want to be a chicken bone. For the last time, half which <laughs> what happened to the paradox? It can't have just disappeared. You've lost it, haven't you? That's Aegon's voice. We must be inside the dark station. We'll suffocate if we stay here. We've got to get out. But how? But, shh, sorry. But how? We're stuck fast. Perhaps we can make it sneeze. Laika, do you have any of your famous sneezing powder handy? I have. But how can I administer it? Captain Thrice, why don't I use this? No, because this is an emergency, Sir Squeakalot. This is no time for housework. No, sir, I don't mean to suck. I mean to blow. No, oh, Sir Squeakalot, you're a genius. Shh, shh, shh. All right, Squeaky, do your stuff. Certainly, Miss Lyka. <laughs> So that 
That's where it went. Oh, my nuts and bolts. Mine went... Oh, that hurt. Captain Thrice, sir. Eh? The giant falcon. It's right behind us. <laughs> oh, this time I believe you. Isambard! See no more, Captain! Yeah! I'm afraid it's right behind us, Captain. Oh, it's going to swallow us again. <laughs> Roger, watch out! The black hole's straight ahead of us! We've got to go through it again. It's our only chance. Oh, no. <laughs> Did you see the falcon? We must be back to full size. Well done, Roger. Oh, yes. Thank you, Roger. I see... a falcon! Where? Where, where, where is, is it? it? Where is it? I, 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 no, I can't see. see. Means... <laughs> there it is. Tweet, 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 tweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> Why, look, it's only a wee, wee birdie. Who's a pretty boy, then? 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 Not you for starters. Oh! Sproggle not scared of falcon. <laughs> oh, Mr. Sproggle. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Place of legend, fabled right across the universe. This is our quest to find it. Set course for Thestor. Course set, Captain. Switching to autopilot. Good. We'll be landing on planet Thestor in a couple of hours. Hopefully they will have the spare part we need. Perfect! Now's my chance to test my latest invention! Hoo -hoo. <laughs> Squeaky! May I present the Isambard Mark I Jet Propelled Power Pack. Oh! And who is to be the lucky test pilot? <laughs> <laughs> you are... Me? Oh, uh, Mr. Isambard, I I'm really not sure that I'm... Oh, really... don't worry, Squeaky. You'll just be flying around in space. Nothing can go wrong, trust me. As long as you do what I've told you, Squeaky, you'll be fine. Well, uh, I'll be off then. <laughs> A wee teething problem, perhaps. Oh, Mr. Isambard! Oh! You forgot to tell me how to start! Look out, everybody! Oh. That's 
Great. Now all I've got to do is perfect the landing. Hmm. Morning, Squire. Duff's the name of selling engines is my game. Yes, 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 we know all that. We're here to see... If, if you'd like to buy my new invention... We're here to see if you have a working transvision. Ah, oh, I haven't myself got one, Squire, but I do know a man who has. Ah, I'll buy it. As long as you acquire it legally. We've dealt with you before, remember? Of course we'll nick it, uh, acquire it legally. We'll give you a call when it's in, eh? <laughs> Do not touch that. It's a new rocket fuel and it's a thousand times more powerful than TNT. Oh, aye. Very interesting. It's still playing up. No picture. Oh, uh, turn up the volume. I can hear something. There is an asteroid on a collision course with our planet. It will hit our atmosphere seven hours from now. Oh, Eck. If it is not stopped, we will all perish. This is a distress call from Flora. <gasps> Flora? That's my home planet. We must help them. Sproggle, give me a course to steer. Uh, 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 turn right. Uh, no, left, left. Between a little and a lot. Set the countdown clock. Roger. A little to the left, uh, between a tiny bit and a little bit. Can you see the asteroid? No! All I can see is a huge piece of rock. How are we going to move that thing off its course? Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Twaddle dear is the name. Rocket engines are my game. This is Captain Thrice of the Paradox, and this is an emergency. We need an explosive device capable of altering the direction of a large meteorite. Oh, listen, Squire, we don't mind bending the law here and there, but explosives? Forget it. What about that new rocket fuel? <sighs> too unstable to handle, mate. Too risky. What? I mean, if anything went wrong, it could blow us apart. If we don't stop that thing, everyone on that planet is going to die. What do you reckon? Listen, Captain. We've discussed it and... We've decided, decided that Dim Duff will do it. Ripper, now all we've got to do is figure out how to get the explosives onto the asteroid. I daren't risk a landing. Laika is the only one who can fly, but I can't ask her to... You don't have to. I'll do it. It's my planet that's threatened. With all due respect, Miss Laika, you are no longer the only one who can fly. Captain Thrice, I would like to volunteer. Laika. If anything should happen, we could send Sir squeak a lot back to the Makers for repair. But if anything happened to you... I'm ready to take that chance. Maybe, but I'm not. Now, have you got the device ready yet? We've only got 15 minutes before we hit the planet's atmosphere. It's on its way. We hope. It's a long way to teleport something. I see. Oh, I don't know what I see, but I see it. We've got it. All right, Isambard. It's down to you and Sir Squeakalot. Hurry! You've only got ten minutes. I have remembered everything you've told me, Mr. Isambard, sir. All right, Squeaky. Let's go. I am ready, I think. Now remember, Squeaky. The explosive is very unstable. You must fly smoothly. I understand, sir. Keep away from the paradox. If that stuff explodes, it'll kill us all. <laughs> yeah, I'm beginning to get the hang of it now. Get over to the asteroid, Squeaky. You've only got four minutes. Actually, Mr. Rogers, sir, I'm doing rather well now, and I'm about to land. Now, gently, does it? No! Oh, oh. Uh. Hurry, Squeaky! Two minutes left! Captain Thrice, sir, the timing device is broken. 
I cannot now cause the instrument to explode. One minute! Squeaky, get out of there! How can I, sir? All those people on the planet will die. It's too late! Save yourself! You've only got ten seconds! I cannot let them die. I am now preparing to meet my maker. Sir Squeakalot was a gentleman, and he died like a hero. Poor old Squeaky. I should have gone. Oh, I see! Squeaky! I don't believe it! Come on, Roger. Let's see how well you can fly. No worries. Oh, prepare for landing, Mr. Isambard. Faster, Roger. Higher, Roger. Come on, Squeaky. Now hold it. Clumsy clot. Aye. Still needs to work on that landing. Where am I? Um, am I in the factory? No, Sir Squeakalot. You're back home. You saved my people. Well, I... I, I do try to please. Oh, dear. Cheers for Squeaky! Hip hip hooray! hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Oh! Hip hip hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Lavender Castle, a place of legend, fabled right across the universe. This is our quest, to find it. Is it serious, Laika? He's contracted galactic fever. Without treatment, he could die within days, so you'll start the treatment immediately. Well, mm -hmm. I need an extract from the leaves of the Wombo plant, but there's only one place in the galaxy where they're found. Aye, the great swamp on the planet Quagmire, where strange happenings happen and weird goings on go on. They say that more enter the swamp than ever come out of it again. That's the place. But if Captain Thrice is to survive, I'll have to get there fast. Come on, Sproggle, I need that course for Planet Quagmire. Oh. Uh, ah, got it. Uh, turn left between quite a lot and not too much. Great. Cheers, Sproggle. Laika, Planet Quagmire not nice. Isambard, tell me. The inhabitants are a little strange. They're called Danks, and they live on insects and dank juice. Dank juice? It's a drink made from the wombo plant. Oh! And wombo plant make Captain Thrice better? Yes, but the Danks want them all for themselves. 
They don't like it if anyone else takes them. Can I come with you, Lyca? Sproggle not afraid. Mr. Sproggle. Well, I could do with a navigator to help me find my way through the swamp. Oh! Oh! It's Sproggle get map! Oh, wrong way. Which way do we go? Um, this way. Uh, oh, no, uh, it's this way. Lyca, look! A dragonfly. Flying dragon? <gasps> oh, come on, Sproggle. I told you this was a dangerous place. Oh. We've got to be very careful. I'll fly you across. Sproggle even more frightened. Then you'll have to cross over the bridge on foot, won't you? Oh. We have to get to the plants. Captain Thrice is dying, or had you forgotten? Sproggle cross bridge. Sproggle, if this map's right, the wombo plants grow right here. Yes! Sproggle, we've done it! We've found the wombo plants. <sighs> like a Sproggle can't go on. All right, then. I'll get the plants. You stay here and rest. Maybe. <sighs> <sighs> Never mind who I am, young lady. This here is my land and you're trespassing. Please let me go. I just wanted a few wombo leaves for medical purposes. A great friend of mine is dying. <laughs> That's what they all say, Missy. If I gave my leaves to everyone that came wandering by, I wouldn't have none left to make dank juice with. And I surely do love my dank juice. Mm hmm Coming along nicely. Anyways, I can always do with another pair of hands around the place. Even though I got four already. So don't you go trying to escape. Because I'm the fastest tongue in the West. <gasps> <laughs> Poison. Uh, and then they eat <laughs> their victims, especially the female of the species. They eat little girls? Why, that's terrible. Don't you worry none, miss. I'll take care of you. Oh, 
can shot myself in the tongue. Don't worry. I'll get him next time. Now let's get out of here. Uh, yeah. So you all think you can fool me with your tricks and lying, do you? Come on, Sproggle. <laughs> Next time, he get us. I don't think so. What are you all doing in here? Who's piloting the ship? Why aren't you looking after the engine? He appears to be recovering. Welcome back, Captain. Just ain't my day. <laughs> Lavender Castle, a place of legend, fabled right across the universe. This is our quest, to find it. your dark. Seek the mountain of Morg on the planet of Zark. That is the end of this special message. The mountain of Morg, you say, on Zark? Hmm. Very well. If we're ever to find Lavender Castle, we must follow up every possible lead. Roger, set course for planet Zark. Planet Zark, here we come. the caves of Morg, and may the Lavender Compass be your reward. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Perfect. Why should I risk my life to find the Lavender Compass 
when those gullible fools will find it for me. <laughs> Oh, look! The light at the end of the tunnel! Come on! Ooh! Roger! Laker! Stop! What? what? You all right? Yeah. You carry on. We'll explore this corridor. All right. But be careful. Oh! It's solid. We're trapped. Well spotted, Smart Eyes. Hmm. A guessing game. One button opens the door, and the other two... What do you think, Isambard? Hmm. Well, you know, Captain, I'm a wee bit worried about those stalactites. Oh, which knob? What you think, Squeaky? So stalactites are deposits of limestone formed by dripping water. That's right, Captain. And you see, it's not particularly damp in here. Ah, uh, struggle thing. So you think the stalactites might be artificial? Exactly. There could be some kind of... <laughs> oh, oh. Trap. Sorry. Not to worry. I can get us out of here. Exactly how long is this going to take, Squeaky? Well, at present rate of progress, um, about three hours. But don't worry, you go on. We'll be all right, won't we, Mr. Sproggle? Oh, yes. Everything hunky-dory. Ah, this is more like it. Now we're making some progress. Ah, don't be too sure, Captain. Anything can happen in this place. What are these? Hieroglyphics? Ooh. Captain? Captain, are you there? Don't worry about us. Find that compass. I can't hear you, Captain. It says to forget about him and that you should go on and complete the mission. Well, you're both walled up. I can't leave you here. Just a moment. He says he won't go without us. Tell him I'm quite comfortable, apart from being with you. He says he's quite comfortable if a little cramped, and he's got me for company. But... Go. Find the lavender compass. Oh, all right. But tell him not to worry. I'll be back. Good luck. Isambard. You're tired and you're weary. Your feet are like lead. If you don't find the compass, your companions are dead. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I'm not falling for that one again. You'll need to be fast. You'll need to be deft. To save your companions, you have 30 seconds left. <sighs> Close. Whoa! If the compass you'd possess, the right lever you must guess, but any mistake will cost you dear. Look above and quake with fear. Oh dear. Talk about being caught between a rock and a hard place. If the big-nosed one chooses correctly, the lavender compass will be his, and then it will be mine. <laughs> Twenty seconds. One chance and three. Sounds fair to me. Oh, I'm speaking in rhyme myself now. When you need a friend to help you cope, lavender power is your best hope. Remember, whenever you're afraid, you're safe within the castle gate. That doesn't even rhyme. With all this hassle, I need Lavender Castle. Ten seconds. Nine. Eight. Oh, I can't make a decision. Seven, this is worse than shopping for shoes. Six, Wait. Five, Lavender four, Castle? But three, what if it's a trick? Two. One. Good grief. <gasps> Oh. Oh. Goodness. Oh. oh, well, now that's a relief. That's better. Oh, thank goodness for that. Isambard, you got the compass for us. Correction, uh... Captain. Your clever friend got the compass for me. Guardian, 
I thought you died when your twilight tower was destroyed. Reports of my death were greatly exaggerated, Captain. Now, no one move or Big Nose gets it. Not so fast, Jimmy. I might have got a big nose, but I've got an even bigger tail! Oh! oh. You have incurred the wrath of the Guardian. Retribution will follow. That fella's got more lives than my granny's wee moggy. Never mind him. We must remember the way the compass is pointing before it fades away like it did last time. Everyone concentrate on the compass. Oh, I got it! Got it! Me too. Just in time. Now, back to the ship. Isambard, fire up the engine. Aye, aye, Captain. Roger, prepare for takeoff. No worries, Captain. Now, according to my calculations, the lavender compass pointed that way. No, Captain. I'm sure it was that way. I don't wish to contradict you, Miss Liker, but I'm positive it was this way. Um, Sproggles, the navigator on this ship. Quite right. Which way did it point, Sproggle? It pointed to Galactic East Sector 428. All right, everyone. We're on our way to Lavender Castle. Galactic East Sector 428. Well done, Sproggle. That's exactly where we are now. Oh, uh, Sproggle. Sproggle. Sorry. Lavender Castle, a place of legend, fabled right across the universe. This is our quest, to find it. Galactinet on my wee computer, and guess what? Lavender Castle has its own website. It gives all the coordinates, everything. Here, let me see. It, uh, look, it, oh, oh, it's gone. Hmm. You don't suppose you imagined it, do you, Isambard? No, Captain. Look, I've written down the coordinates. <laughs> Isambard, if you're asking me to follow up what is obviously a prank, the answer is no. They'll soon be on their way. How do you know Captain Thrice has fallen for it? I'm sure he hasn't. But I'm equally sure his dim-witted crew have. Now go. Yes, yes. All right. All those in favor of traveling to the position given on the Galactonet. Mm-hmm. And those against? Hmm. Sproggle, did you vote twice? No. Only once. Both times. I see. Anyway, it looks as if, much against my better judgment, 
We are about to go on a wild goose chase. Oh, I thought we were going to search for Lavender Castle. Oh. So, halfway between right and left. We're here. There are the peaks straight ahead. Roger, reduce speed. Now, where's Lavender Castle supposed to be? According to the coordinates, between those two rocky peaks. Huh. I would hardly expect to see Lavender Castle there. Captain, we've come all this way. We've got to take a look. I've got a bad feeling about this, Roger. Look, there's nothing there. What are you afraid of? Well, all right, but... Sol 20, Captain! <laughs> No, Roger. Gung Ho should be your middle name. Well, the view's very spectacular, but there's no Lavender Castle. Oh, I'm truly sorry, Captain. When I saw it on the way by... Whip. I can see it. Reverse thrust. Oh, oh. <laughs> it worked! We've got them! Yes. And now to secure them. This isn't a website, it's the sight of a web. A spider's web. Captain! The spider's coming towards us! And it's gigantic! And what do spiders do when they catch their prey? They tie them up with their thread... And then eat them! Mechanical spider, a message on the Galactonet. Such an elaborate plan could only have been conceived by one person. The paradox awaits you. Good. It's time to go. If I'm right, Dr. Aegon will be on his way. And when he arrives, we know what to expect. Oh, Captain, I'm so sorry. Save your apologies, Isambard. Devote your energy to devising a way to get us out of this mess. Aye, aye, Captain. I got us into this, and I'll get us out of it. <laughs> Excellent. The paradox is tied up. Thrice will have no choice but to surrender. The Paradox and its crew will be mine. And I'll be able to nest in the thatched roof. This is no time to get broody, you stupid bird. I've got it! Squeaky, you're going to cut us free with your laser beams. And how will I do that, Mr. Isambard? By using my jetpack, of course. It'll be risky, Sir Squeakalot. But if we don't break free, we'll all end up as Aegon slaves. All in the line of duty, sir. You'll never get this thing through the peaks. You're right. We will take the mammoth machine. Now remember, Squeaky, don't get too close to the spider and fly slowly. I'll remember that, sir. Fly slowly. Listen, Bart, sir. Remind me how to stop. Oh. What's going on? I've lost control. Yes, I remember now. Uh, to stop, you push this button. Oh, that's funny. Where's that spider gone? Oh, oh, Captain Thrice! Dr. Aegon's coming! Squeaky, hurry! Dr. Aegon's here! Keep on the other side so he doesn't see you! I'm going as fast as I can, sir. As, as soon as we're free, call me! I will indeed, sir. Thrice, your position is hopeless. Surrender, or I will blow you to smithereens. Never. 
I've told you before, Aegon. We'd rather die than be your slaves. All right, Thrice. The choice is yours. I'll give you ten seconds, just in case you change your mind. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, Come on, Squeaky! Five, four. Three. Two. Get clear, one, Squeaky! Zero. Go, go, go! They've got away. The web! Don't worry, they've broken it. They haven't. They have. They haven't. They have. You're right. They haven't. <laughs> Here he comes! Oh, good landing, too! Thanks, Squeaky. Once again, Captain. I'm sorry I caused you all this bother. I think we uncovered Dr. Aegon's web of deceit, sir. Wait a minute. Web of deceit? Uh, I think I've made a little joke, sir. Web, you see, and, and spiders built webs, and there was a web and, and a spider, and Dr. Aegon was deceiving us, which is why I said web of deceit. Squeaky, uh, don't give up your day job, mate. Oh, right. <laughs>